Hey, what is up guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros, and today we bring you the $350 console killer. Let's get right into it, shall we? So let me tell you a little bit about today's video sponsor, Hostinger. Hostinger provides fast and affordable web hosting to the masses and starting at only $1.45 a month for the basic web hosting plan. What we love the most about Hostinger is the amount of performance you're getting for your money because you know here at the Toasty Bros, we're all about the best value for your dollar when it comes to our gaming PC builds and really anything that we do with this channel. And Hostinger is a great example of that. Even their premium web hosting plan comes in at under $3 a month and gives you access to unlimited bandwidth and unlimited email addresses. If you're a small business or let's say a YouTube channel trying to improve your online presence, Hostinger is honestly a no-brainer. With the ability to build or migrate your existing website using WordPress or build a brand new easy website using their built-in website utility with all their custom and modern templates that you can choose from. Here at the Toasty Bros, we're looking to expand our online presence by building a website that represents what we're trying to do on YouTube. And in the coming weeks, we will be revealing our brand new website to showcase exactly what the Toasty Bros are all about. And we're gonna be using hosting your service to build a really awesome website. So stay tuned for that once the website actually goes live. Hosting your doesn't just provide web hosting. If you're somebody who's looking to expand into cloud computing, you do have the option to buy cloud computing hosting using a dedicated server from Hostinger at also very affordable prices. And maybe you're looking to buy both and you wanna save a little bit of money. Hostinger was nice enough to hook up our viewers with a discount code. If you use code Toasty Bros at checkout, you will save 50 percent on your order through hostinger.com. So again, if you're looking for some really fast and affordable web hosting that is very competitive with every other offering on the market, definitely check out hostinger.com, link in the description down below, and be sure to use code TOSYBROS at checkout. So how about we get right into that PC build, shall we? Hi, so uh, editing Matt here. Throughout this video, you're going to hear us reference this as a mini ITX build. I'm not sure what happened, but Jackson and I really did not realize that we purchased a micro ATX motherboard. So if you're kind of confused on why it's a very large mini ITX motherboard, it's because it's actually a micro ATX motherboard and that's what we use for this build. So just ignore any references of mini ITX motherboards because it's actually a micro ATX board. Thanks guys. So this is actually one of the cheaper Mini ITX builds that you can do because Mini ITX is a lot more expensive than doing a full ATX or micro ATX build. And so to house the Mini ITX parts, here we have the Playa Slim from Aerocool. And this one's really cool because it actually has RGB in the front and it looks a lot like a console. You actually have the option to be able to have it sitting like this. You can see you got the ports on top. And so to house the parts here, we have an MSI H81M E33. And the processor we're going to be putting in that is an i5 five 4590. This is a quad-core Intel CPU, and this will definitely be able to keep up with most modern consoles. So here we have two 4-gig sticks of basic DDR3 memory. So we actually had to get a low-profile 1050. This is about the best card you can get besides a 1050 Ti, but it didn't really seem like it was necessary to spend the extra $30, $40 just to get a Ti. So 1050 low-profile, you're kind of limited to that. You actually have to put the low-profile bracket included on there as well. And for storage, really any 120-gig SSD will work just fine, but this this is a PNY 120 SSD. This will house Windows on it. You always have the option to put a three and a half inch hard drive in it as storage. Not like this isn't storage. So here we have a Seasonic small form factor power supply. This is 350 watts, which would be more than enough we need to run this build. And this one was actually pretty affordable, being a little bit over $30. A lot of them are in anywhere from 60 to like $100. So pretty good alternative. So obviously the prices can vary a little bit depending on what type of deals you all get, but in total it costed about $350. So like I said, a really good console alternative and we're gonna see how well this thing plays after we build it. Let's build it.
right guys, so as you can see, this PC looks really nice and it's time to talk about some benchmarks. But first, this chair I'm in is, uh, well, very uncomfortable. So I think I need an upgrade. All right, so what I have here is the Thunder X3 BC1. This is a very affordable chair that you can get that actually is very comfortable for what it is, very easy to put together, and well, has a nice Thunder X3 logo. They were nice enough to send this chair over, and honestly, for sitting around doing long gaming sessions, being able to do some benchmarking, as you can tell with this PC, and we'll talk about here in a second, it works really well. So if you are interested in one of these chairs, check the link in the description down below, and well, yeah, drop a review if you like it. All right, guys, so now it's time to do some benchmarks. This PC for $350 actually performs pretty well for being a mini ITX system. And the Aerocool Playa Slim is a really nice case that resembles a game console. And it fits mini ITX and micro ATX motherboards if you do choose to go with that option. In games like Counter-Strike, Black Ops 4, The Forest, and some other titles, you get 1080p medium to high settings with a very respectable frame rate. The limiting factor in this system is the 1050. The CPU can actually handle a higher-end graphics card but again since this case only supports low profile GPUs and really the only other option we could go with was a 1050 Ti low profile which at the time of recording this video was a lot more expensive than the standard 1050s and really wasn't justifying for the purchase so we opted for the 1050 to make this a good budget system but if you did want to get better performance numbers as seen on screen you can go with the 1050 Ti and pair it with this same CPU combo overall we are very happy with this system considering the form factor and how this can make a really good home theater PC that does look like a console. You can do things like live streaming content from like Netflix, YouTube, and everything, and also play some games on the side with the controller. A lot of indie titles will work perfectly on this, and it can just be your Windows console that you can have in your living room and have a really good playable experience. So I guess I'll bring Jackson in here to uh, do the outro real quick. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully we will see you all in the next one. Bye bye Zach, you're fired. Ah! <laughs> okay, I had that in.